Well, this is a bit nice, isn't it? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is a very special video that I'm very excited to film uh, because I'm gonna be opening birthday presents from you guys. Um, I always feel a bit conflicted about filming these videos because I don't want it to feel like I'm bragging or showing off because it definitely isn't that. Um, and as I say in other videos, like I don't expect anyone to send me anything at any time of the year. It is so, so appreciated when I do get things, um, but it's definitely not expected. Um, but I do think that like if, you guys are gonna take the time and the effort and spend the money on sending me something. Like the least I can do is open it um, on camera so that you can see my reaction to it. So I'm gonna sit and open <laughs> these parcels today. Um, like I said, I feel a bit conflicted about these videos, but I think I only do one like haul a year, which is usually on my birthday. Um, so yeah, so I have 15 parcels <laughs> to open um, with you guys this morning. It's quite early in the morning when I'm filming, if you can't tell from my voice. <coughs> and um, I've basically nabbed the living room before Charlie gets up and after Gary's had a shower. So you may well be able to hear background noise as the house starts to come to life around me. But it today is the 31st of October when I'm filming. My birthday was the 28th. I literally can't wait any longer to open these. Um, I was away over my birthday uh, with Charlie. And by the time this goes up, you'll have seen the August vlog. So I'll link those in the description. Um, but Gary was sending me pictures each day as things were arriving. Um, and yeah, I'm just really excited to open these. So we're going to start with two parcels from my two, two of my book two besties, uh, Chloe and Charlotte, and then we'll get into the rest of the bits and pieces that I've been sent. So huge, huge thanks if you have contributed to this massive pile of presents. Like I said, I really do appreciate it. It's not expected, but I do love it when it happens. And yeah, I've had a really lovely birthday. You can see some of my birthday cards up here. Charlie also chose me this cat t-shirt. So, so it says under toi cat, which is the level of pun we enjoy in this house. And I also just really like the art style. It's really simple and cute. Um, plus it's a really soft cotton fabric, which is very important for me. So yeah, really good choice from him. And like I said, if you, by the time you're watching this, you've probably seen August vlogs. Well, I've shown you the other bits and pieces I got for my birthday. So I will leave those linked below. Let's get into this. I'm gonna start with a humongous box that Chloe sent me. Um, and I'm not opening these in any particular order. I'm gonna open Chloe and Charlotte's first because I know um, that they're from, that those are from them. What are words this morning? Um, and then the rest are just in a stack. So they'll be in no particular order. But Chloe's box arrived so early. It arrived like two weeks before my birthday because she's super, super organised. And I'm so intrigued to see what she sent me. She is an absolute master at gift giving. Um, and yeah, I'm just really excited. And this box, you should, it's, it's the box is falling apart. I'm trying to do it without putting my address on the internet. <laughs> Look at the size of this box. I mean, the cat's gonna love playing in this. And everything is so beautifully wrapped inside. So let's get into this because I've been looking at this box for weeks now and I'm very excited. Start with the card. Um, and uh, as usual, everything is gorgeously wrapped inside and I can't wait to see what she's picked for me. Cause like I said, she's really good at gifts. Ah, another cat card, excellent. Have a perfect birthday, lovely. Uh, she said, to Victoria, happy birthday in capital letters. I hope you have the absolutely fantastic day that you deserve lots of love Chloe that's really sweet and that will go up with the others uh, once I finish filming so I put that there for now so I can see it as I film and she's picked this beautiful paper look how pretty this paper is she's not given me instructions on an order to open things in although one of the things is slightly open at one end so I'm just going to grab things and start opening otherwise we will literally be here all day we're already three minutes in so let's do this so that you can see oh my gosh Chloe you have wrapped as well okay we're, we've got, we're in we've got an end what is this okay oh <laughs> it's so cute because I can only see this bit I was like what she sent me this is a bag for life and look at the cats this is going to become my school bag for life if you work in a school you will know what I mean that is so cute. I love the one with the tutu. I love this. This is Cats and Rainbows, two of my favourite things. Okay, excellent choice. I'm going to have to like make a little stack of presents on this side. I've got a box. There's things sliding around in it. I literally have no idea. She said that she hadn't sent me any books, which is fine because there are plenty of books here. Well, it would obviously be fine anyway. Um, so I'm just really intrigued to see what other stuff she's gone for. Let's... 
Ooh, candy kittens. Okay. I mean, obviously, this might not be candy kittens in the box. Oh, she's put this little cute frog sticker on it. That is adorable. I feel kind of bad breaking him to get into it. Oh, I managed to do it without it. <gasps> it is candy kittens. Chloe, what did you do? So we've got Eaton Mess Sour Watermelon, which is the best flavour. I will not hear any different. Um, I don't know what flavour that is, but it's rainbow ones again. Oh, very cherry, another favourite, and wild strawberry. Very, very excited for all of these. And again, the cats will love a cardboard box. This one is Molly sized. Okay, amazing. Gosh, I'm so I'm feeling overwhelmed already, and we're two presents in. Then we've got this one. There's two more in this box. <laughs> got this little one, which feels squishy, but with something hard on one end. Um, <laughs> oh, cool. This is Soap and Glory hydrating jelly mask that's cool i didn't even know they did that oh that is a pleasing texture um that's really exciting so i will obviously give that a go at some point soon it's got b5 and hyaluronic acid in it lovely but yeah that is a really pleasing um texture let's go for this one which is slightly open at the top um and then i think oh no there's two more in here there's a small one hiding so what is the <laughs> open it a bit more oh cute she sent me a new sippy cup sippy cup <laughs> i don't think that's what you're supposed to call them after the age of about three uh so this is a textured soda cup 650 ml if you know me you know that i love um cup soda and oh this is such a good idea sorry let me get that slightly out of your way bubble tea passion fruit bubble tea amazing with strawberry popping boba so i can make my own that's very exciting because I keep looking at these packs and I'm like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. So now I've got one and I will definitely give it a go and put it in this cup. That's such a cute idea. I think I've now got a cat trying to dig their way into the room. Okay, second to last one. <laughs> Chloe. Honestly, I don't deserve my friends. Um, what is this? I think I've gone in upside down. Need something liquidy? Is it? Yes. Food diffuser. This is really funny because I've just run out of my one that I have in our bedroom. This is uh, jasmine and sweet vanilla. Really, really good choice. I love that scent. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then last one. What do we think? Hmm. Maybe a pin or earrings. We know I love a dangly earring. Uh, let's see. Let's stop guessing and get into it. I always make Gary cross when I guess <laughs> or try and guess what presents are before I open them. Okay, I cannot get into this. You wrapped it really well, Chloe. There we go. Okay. Ooh, I do have a pair of scissors in case I get stuck with any parcels later. What is this? I literally... This is the state of affairs we're at. Okay. Oh, okay, so it's wrapped inside wrapped. It's all so lovely. Ah, if I could open it. <laughs> okay. We'll find this out together. Is it just going to get smaller and smaller until there's nothing? Oh. oh! It's a necklace! You're a gem, August, adventurous and lucky. That's so beautiful. That's so pretty. I love that. I love that colour as well. Um, August birthstone is peridot, I think is how you say it. Um, and it's that kind of green. That's so pretty. Thank you so much. So she said we the Bag for life, the candy kittens, the cup and the boba bubble tea, uh, the reed diffuser, the face mask and this beautiful necklace. Thank you so much, Chloe. I obviously have like voice noted you way before this goes up. Uh, but thank you so very much. That was really, really kind of you. And I'm going to use this box to put rubbish in as we go. Okay, so that was Chloe. And then came home from our trip to a box from Charlotte which I'm just going to get fully out of the wrapping now that I'm filming because um, the front bit has got my address on, obviously. So let's cut that off. Oh, sorry, the pile is slipping. What a problem to have. And this is what we have. I love this paper. We use this paper all the time because, uh, you know, rainbows. So let's get into this. I don't know which way it is, but we'll soon find out. Oh, that way. Okay. This is so nice. Right, card, card first. 
We're a card first household. What do you guys do in your household? Is your card first or present first? Whoop. <laughs> Have the most wonderful year full of books and the softest pyjamas. Happy birthday. That sounds perfect to me. And I love this peachy colour on it with the pink. Uh, she said to Victoria this box is filled with little things that made me think of you happy birthday love Charlotte well I'm very intrigued to see what you've put in here and I'm very excited to open it so this box is wordy and wild I don't know if she's just used it as, as a posting box or if this is from wording and wild I guess we'll find out okay then in here this is what we've got this is very mysterious <laughs> there's a sticker which I'm gonna have to be careful to show you because it has got a swear on it but it says, it's got a little cat with the rainbow behind it. Focus on the sh you can control. I love that. That's really, really funny. I will find somewhere to put that uh, where I can see it daily. I can't really have it up in my schoolroom, but yes. Then we have this, which has got, oh, so this is Tea Leaves, Tea Leaves and Reads Bookshop. It's been lovely. Wrapped up. <gasps> these are so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. Let's get these the right way up. Oh my days. Have you seen a pair of earrings that is any cuter than these? I don't think you have. Those are adorable. They're also really light. I am so excited to wear these. I might wear these for the inset day. <laughs> We've got an inset day on Monday when I'm filming this with no kids and I may well wear those then. I love those. Thank you, Charlotte. We've got a bubble tea sheet mask. See, my friends know. Bubble tea, self-care, face masks. Yes, yes, yes. What um scent are you? Doesn't say. Just bubble tea. Oh, berries. It literally says it in huge letters there. Really lovely. Oh, yes. I love these socks. These are Katie Abbey socks. I've got a few pairs of these. And it just says the socks of success. And it's got the rainbows on the black. And I love that. I love those. That's so cool. Okay, what else? Oh, some more. Another bubble tea sheet mask. This one is tropical. And what is this? The Paper and Cat Club. Oh, it's a bookmark. How exciting. Oh, adorable. Oh my gosh, it looks like money. Oh, hang on, there's something else in there as well. Are these stickers? Oh, okay, it's just the thing from Paper Paper Cat Club. I've ordered from them before, been really impressed. Um, And yeah, this. look at this beautiful autumn bookmark. That look, literally looks like Molly. And then that's the back. I do love the tassel. I tend to avoid bookmarks with tassels because I have cats, but... That's going to have to be my autumn, one of my autumn bookmarks. Love, love, love. Ooh. And then, last oh, there's a book. Last thing, I think. Yes. <laughs> this is the Little People Big Dreams Taylor Swift edition. This is so cute. Um, and this is just one of those books that's like all about Taylor Swift. But oh, look at the end pages. Um, but beautifully illustrated. That's really fun. I will love sitting and having a little flick and a read through that. Um, and then I'll probably put it in my classroom library because I'm sure some of my kids will love it as well. And it will help me make friends in my new school. Okay, so those are all the bits I'm sure I'm put those back in here. I love these earrings. I'm obsessed. They are quite big, but I think I can rock those. I'm so, like, so many nice things. Okay, so let's get into parcels from you guys. Now, some of these might not be birthday presents. I just stopped opening my post from like the middle of the month in case they were birthday presents. And then some I know are birthday presents because they've arrived this week. Um, I also in here, I think, I hope, is my pre-order of the Cinnamon Bun Bookshop because they said it's been delivered, but I couldn't work out from this, which was which, so I've just left it. Um, this one that I'm gonna open first of all is from Melinda and I don't think it's a birthday present. She messaged me a while ago and said she had something to send me. Could she send it? And I was like, yeah you don't have to but thank you so much so i can't open the parcel i can't show you the parcel because it's got my address on the front and hers on the back um but thank you so much melinda whatever this is oh it's so cute i think that's everything that's in the envelope yes looks like this this is adorable i'm assuming this is a bookworm um so let's have a little look at this okay there's a card oops Trying to at least have some semblance of uh, order in this room. <laughs> Whilst I sit and do this. Oh, this is so... Oh, maybe this is a birthday present. Look at this card. That's adorable. That could be Savannah. Oh, stickers. I'm 
and stuff. Okay, so she says, Victoria, happy birthday. Hope you have a day as lovely as you. Thank you for all you do, teaching and vlogging. Love Melinda. That's really, really lovely and kind of her. And she's also sent me, what she sent me? Hang on. I've now got a row of cards on the table here. <laughs> These are really cute. I love those. I love that art style. And then <laughs> she sent, so she ordered a set of my bookmarks. And then she sent them back and she said, sending you, sending these back to you so you, so you have a set. That's really sweet. You really didn't have to do that. That's really, really kind of you. Um, and then we've got, is this a bookmark? Yes. And a pin. Oh, hang on. I'm now dropping things. So this adorable bookmark, this is from Tyler something. I can't read it. My dyslexia is saying no thank you, but it's there for you guys at the bottom. So we've got this adorable autumn cat sat on a pumpkin and then a pin which is very exciting this can go on my lanyard for work of this little ghosty reading that's so cute and then oh this has got a note on it as well uh so it just says i hope you have room for me on your rainbow shelves and it's this little teeny tie but i guess it's a bookworm isn't it i'm gonna take this to school to decorate my bookshelves there so thank you so much melinda that was really really thoughtful and kind of you like it's all just you know what, it's a bit much, but in a good way. Okay, let's crack into these parcels. So, this is in no particular order, because I don't know which order they arrived in. So we're just going to open them. Oh, in theory, we're going to open them. Um, and see what we get. So, let's see what this first one is. Is this my pre-order? Oh no, this is a present, because there's a gift note. Okay, so the gift note says, oh, it's from Ali. Um, she said, happy birthday, lovely Victoria. Thank you for your wonderful bookish videos and for being your brilliant self, Ali. And that's Ali from This Little Wonderful Life. Anyone I mention that I know has a channel, I will put in the description. Please go and follow them. They are all lovely, lovely, lovely people um, and deserve your support. So, yes, let's see what Ali went for in terms of... Ooh, yes, excellent choice. This is um, In the Weeds by BK Boris. And this is the second book that starts with... I feel like it's behind me somewhere yeah love like farms this is the second one i'm really excited for this i did actually start it on audio at the start of the summer and then dropped off listening to it because i just didn't have enough time in the car so i'm really really excited to pick this back up and and i have a physical copy so thank you very much ali i love this cover i'm gonna go fairly quickly through these because we're already 17 minutes in um right let's try and make a pile of books here oh my days right Next one. <laughs> it's such a nice thing to sit and do. Um, obviously. Right. Gift note. Nope, that's the receipt. I'm not looking at the receipt, so it's fine. Uh, gift note. There we go. Oh, this is from Ali as well. Okay. It just says enjoy a gift. So what's the other book that she went for? Ooh. Yes. Crown of Blood, The Deadly Inheritance of Lady Jane Grey by Nicola Tallis. I think it was Claire, uh, Claire Fenby that I saw talking about this. And Lady Jane Grey um, was queen for like 19 days, 15 days or something. It'll probably tell me on the back here. Um, and this is her autobiography. Um, and she, in terms of the English crown, she's between Edward, who was son of Henry VIII, and Mary, also known as Bloody Mary. And... I'm really intrigued by this. Ooh, that's exciting. Excellent pick, Ellie. And I feel like you've like captured my main reading moods at the moment, which is romance or um, historical nonfiction. So yeah, thank you very much again for that. You did not have to do that at all. Okay, let's go for this one. Ooh, I don't, parcels do not want to open for me today. So, nope. Okay, so we're just gonna have to force our way in. Ugh. You can probably now start to hear the teenager getting up above me. So apologies for a background noise because he'll be coming down for breakfast in a minute. Okay, what have we got in here? That's a receipt. Gift note, please. There we go. So this is oh from Lindsay. She said, Happy birthday, hope you have a great day, and thanks for the fantastic content from Lindsay. Thank you so much. You're so very kind. Which book did you go for? Yes! Okay, so I read, this is Wood Witch by Sky McKenna. I read, what was the first one? Uh, Hedge Witch last year. And it was so cute and cosy. It's a middle grade about a witch, obviously. And she's kind of learning, coming into her powers, all that kind of stuff. Um, 
and it was so cosy and found family. I absolutely loved it. I then put it in the school library and it's been really, really popular in the school library as well. So I'm really excited to read this. This will have to be an autumnal read. Look at that cover. And then again, I can pop it into the school library. So thank you so much, Lindsay. That's a really good choice. Oh, obviously it's funny, isn't it? Because I curate my... Well, this one's heavy. I curate my um, wish list. So it's all stuff that I'm excited to read, but it's always like exciting and interesting to see what people pick from my wish list. Okay. Oh, this one's gift wrapped. Blimey. Okay. This is really heavy. So this must be a hardback. Okay. Let's see who it's from because it will be on this little tag. Ugh. Let's hold this up. I love the colour of this. I hope you have a wonderful book. Oh, from Marianne. That couple of books. Thank you, Marianne. You are an absolute sweetheart. Um, you've, if you've watched my videos, you'll have heard me mention Marianne because she is just lovely and is really supportive and kind. Right, let's see which book you've gone for. Oh, Marianne, that's why this was so heavy. This is Laura Olympus, volume four. Cannot wait to read this. Oh my gosh, it's going to make choosing books for September really hard, but in a really good way. Um, and yeah, I can't really tell you much about this. This is the fourth one very very exciting i'm gonna put the gift bag with that so i can put the gift note in it later thank you so much mary and great choice i'm really excited to carry on with that series this one might be the pre or oh, it might be the pre-order um but i wasn't sure so we'll open it together now in case it isn't the pre-order that's sad breaking away into the room one second Okay, would it be a Victoria video if we weren't interrupted by a cat at some point in proceedings? We've now got Sav in the room with us and there's a bunch of things for her to like climb on and explore and whatever. So if you can hear him reaching around, that's what that is. Also, this one was really, really tightly packaged, so I've like pulled it open. So I have no idea what this is um, or if it's a gift or if it's from a publisher or what. So let's just try and get it. Oh my, oh my gosh, I did not realise that this would be this. This is The Solstice Court by Jade Juniper, our very own Jade Juniper from YouTube. Um, she is publishing this, I think it comes out at 15 September, and she messaged me and, set, and asked if I would um, be an ARC reader, but I can't read off a screen, my dyslexia just won't let me do it. So she was kind enough to send me a physical copy, um, and I was not expecting it yet. This is really exciting. I am planning to do a specific vlog for this, which you guys will see I'm going to film it, I think, at the end of October. Um, look how beautiful this cover is. But I will put her... I will see the link to already. You should be following her on YouTube if you're not. She's an amazing creator and so, so lovely. Um, and I'll kind of leave her to talk about more about what this is about um, until I've read it. But I am really, really excited that this is in my hands. I cannot believe this was here. This is unexpected. Um, I did not think it was going to get here this fast. So, yeah, Jade, thank you so much for sending this to me. I realise it's not a birthday present. Um, but thank you so much for sending this my way. And I'm really, really excited to read it soon. OK, let's put that over there in its own pile. Um, right, we've got this humongous box. Um, and I'm going to use the scissors to help me open it. This is really heavy. So I have no idea what's in here. But it's come from the wish list. So... Let's, oh, I still can't open it. <laughs> this is why I don't unbox things very often on this channel. Because I am um, rubbish at opening things. Okay. Okay. Oh! <laughs> so, obviously I can see what's in it. So who is this from? Those are receipts. Oh, from Laura. Laura, <laughs> I don't know why I deserve, do to deserve you. She said, books and sweets, what a perfect combination. Happy birthday from Laura. Thank you so much. Um, the book that she's gone for is the next in the Miss Marple series, which is really exciting, which is They Do It With Mirrors. I love these editions. And that will sit once I've read it with my other marples up here. Um, so she's gone for that. And then the reason this is so heavy, this box, is this. <laughs> She's gone for the kilo of, of um, sweets. And if you saw my August vlog, you'll know that Charlie also picked me a kilo of um, pick a mix as part of my birthday present from him. So I am set for sweets for a good long time. Actually, probably not as long as it should be, but for a good time anyway. Thank you so much, Laura. You're right, but some sweets. What else do you need? How very exciting. Okay, let me put that down there. It is going to be a mission to tidy up after this um, 
this filming this video that was a pause in my brain there for a moment right let's put that on there we're into the last stack we saw it one two three four five six parcels to open we haven't found the pre-order yet maybe it's not even in here okay let's open this okay wrap it in there there, honestly, I'll show you the carnage in a minute because my dress is invisible because there's just paper and stuff everywhere. Right, who is this one from? That's the receipt. Oh, from Elena. She said, Happy birthday, Victoria. A Quakey Mezzi is one of my favourite contemporary authors, and this one is both shocking and fab. Hope you have a lovely day from Elena. Well, that tells me what this is, which is very, very exciting. Yes. So, this is Freshwater by Quakey Mezzi, and I think this was their debut. Um, so, I'm really excited for this. And it was long listed for the Welcome Book Prize in 2019. I just read uh, The Death of Vivek OJ, OG um, in August and really enjoyed it. And her book, uh, their book, um, You Made a Fool of Death with Your Beauty, is one of my favourite reads of last year. Absolutely stunning. So I'm really excited to read their debut. So thank you very much for that, Melena. Melena's also got a YouTube channel and an Etsy store. So please go and check her out and give her a follow. And then, let's not put addresses on the internet. We've got this one. This is also really heavy. Let's have some on patrol. She's jumping from one window to the other. Oh my gosh, this has got hardback in it. Okay, let's find... There's two books in here. Let's find a gift note. Who is this from? So, oh, Sarah. So Sarah said, Happy birthday, Victoria. Keeping my fingers crossed that you'll complete your 31 and 31. And I wanted to make a contribution towards replenishing your TBR from Sarah. Thank you so much. Um, like I said, my August vlogs will be linked in the description. At the time of filming this, I'm on book 31, but I don't know if I'm going to have time to finish it today because I've got so much to do. So we'll see if I finished it. But thank you so much. You don't have to replenish my bookshelves, but I appreciate the fact that you have. Right, let's do... There's a paperback and a hardback in here. I can't get them out. Ah. What have we got? Oh, yes. How to Become a Dark Lord and Die Trying by um, Django, Jang, Django Wexler. Um, I think it was Brittany and Brie that I've seen talking about this, about this author and maybe specifically about this book. This looks so fun. And it just says a laugh out loud fantasy tale about a young woman who, tired of defe defending humanity from the Dark Lord, decides maybe the Dark Lord is onto something after all. That sounds really fun. So that goes with this one. Thank you very much. And then, let's see what the hardback is that you've chosen. I can't get it out. <laughs> it's been very well protected. Oh, yes! Okay, this is a book. This is um, Till Death Do Us Bard by Rose Black. I think it was Olivia Savannah at Olivia's Catastrophe that I saw talking about this. I feel like it was. I might be lying. Um, it just says on the back, marriage isn't always sunshine and unicorns. Sometimes it's monsters and necromancy. I mean, what else do you need? This is so fun. Um, and it just says, it's a charming queer fantasy, perfect for fans of Legends and Lattes, which I am, and Nettle and Bone. And how beautiful is this hardback? Thank you so much, Sarah. I love the cover as well of the naked hardback. Oh, yeah. Oh, I fully dropped it. Whoops. And then this lovely pink as well. Oh, so many books. I'm going to need another month of work so I can sit and read these books. Thank you very much. I love it. I love it. Okay. Let's put that there. Right, next, like I said, I'm going through these fairly quickly, just because otherwise this video will be super, super, super long, and I'm kind of conscious that the boys are starting to wake up now. Um, what's this one? Oh, this is my pre-order. Brilliant. Okay, so this is one I bought myself. Um, this is the Cinnamon Bun at Bookstore uh, by Laurie G Gilmore, which is the sequel or the companion novel to um, the Pumpkin Spice Cafe, which I really, really loved. I love that this has got a spicy sign on it as well um i don't even know much about this other than it's written by the same author and i pre-ordered it about 50 pages into the first book really loved it we'll be reading this in september if i can't my september tbr is suddenly going whoop. um i love this cover it's set in a bookshop it talks about cinnamon buns i think it's going to be like second chance um something like that it's going to be cute and I'm excited to read it. Okay, let's put that separately because that's one that I bought. I'm glad I found the pre-order. Um, right, next. We've got three left. Ooh, this is all so exciting. Like I said, I love seeing what you guys pick from my wish list. Right. Oh, this is from Rhiannon at The Welsh Reader. Happy birthday, Victoria. Hope you have a lovely time celebrating and make sure to, like, to take the last few days of the summer holidays easy. Smiley face from Rhiannon. She's also a teacher um, and I tend to do the opposite. I... 
I'm going to be busy the last couple of days of the summer, but that's okay. What have you gone for? Oh, yes. Solid choice, Rihanna. This is, if I can get the receipt of it. This is For Your Own Good by Samantha Downing, which I've been wanting to read for ages. She wrote your lovely, well, my lovely wife. Um, you never expect a murder at a place like this. I don't even really know what this is about. Oh, it's set at school. Okay, I'm excited to read this. Um, this will definitely be a wintry read. And yeah, I haven't read a really twisty thriller for ages. So I'm hoping that Samantha Downing can, can kind of come through on that because I really liked My Lovely Wife. If liked is a word that you can use for that particular book. Right, last two. Oh my days, I have not had much luck with these pot ups today. Okay, gift note first. So, he said, oh, from Anne. So, hi Victoria, happy birthday. I hope you had a lovely day Wednesday and lots of fun. I did, it was a really good birthday. I haven't read this book yet, but I really like the synopsis and the cover by Lenny Kaufman is beautiful. I hope you enjoy it. So, let's see. <gasps> yes. Okay, so this yeah, is a beautiful cover. I fully just dropped it again. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Um, this is Role Playing by Kathy Yardley, which is a romance book, but you've got an older male protagonist who's also ace, so, or demisexual. Um, I can't remember who it was. I think it was Aoife at Pretty Purple Paper Dots who was talking about it and I was like, literally like, say less. I think I paused the video where she was talking, I think it was her, where she was talking about it and went and put it on my um, wish list. So yeah, I'm really excited to get into this. It looks, it's really cozy. Um, and I think it's a grumpy sunshine where she's the grumpy and he's the sunshine. Like I said, they're older. She's 48 and he's 50. Um, and they, meet online but don't realise they're talking to each other like that kind of thing so yeah really excited for this and I do love the cover um and I think the author's got a few books out so if I like the style of it I can uh, pick up more so thank you very much for that one gosh what a stack okay and then this is the last one you can now hear Sav fully climbing into the box that Claire, uh, Claire that um Charlotte sent me can you use some other boys <laughs> Charlotte's got two cats if you didn't know and um Sam may well be able to smell them on the box. Right, last one. This one is also very heavy. It's also gift wrapped. You guys don't have to... Oh, look how pretty that colour is. You guys don't have to gift wrap things. I know it makes it even more expensive. I mean, I appreciate it and I reuse these bags. But um, <laughs> you don't have to do that. Okay, who's this? Oh, it's from Ellen. So it says, Dearest Victoria, happy birthday. I'd be the ha ha bleh, words the healthiest and happiest girl in the world. May your universe always take care of you. Lots of hugs. Hope you'll enjoy the book from Ellen. Thank you so much, Ellen. That's really kind. Let's see where the book we've gone. Oh, Ellen. This is The House of Mirrors by Erin Kelly. Erin Kelly wrote one of my favourite books of last year, the name of which has completely left me for some reason. Um, and this is her next book, Skeleton Key. That's it. So one of them was killed before. One of them will kill again. Um... This cover is beautiful. Look at those flowers. And yeah, I am really excited. For, I'm really excited for all of these books. Obviously, that's why I put them on my wish list. Oh, look at that. Does that not scream October to you? Um, thank you so much. This is really, really, really kind of you. And I'm excited to read this book. Okay. That's everything open. My lounge looks like an explosion in a paper factory. Um, thank you so much to everyone who sent me something. I'm going to try and stack them. Sav is now up on my bookshelf over there. Um, oh my gosh, she's behind the TV. You may well see her in a second. Um, so I'm going to try and stack these up. Can you see her? Yes. She's so... What are you doing? That is not helpful. <laughs> Welcome to my life. Um, so this is the stack of books. <laughs> oh, plus the solstice call. Savannah. <laughs> she's literally... A wrecking ball like that. Luckily, she's cute. Um, plus the Taylor Swift one that um, Charlotte sent me. But <laughs> look at all of these books. You guys are incredible. You did not have to do it. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I had a really lovely birthday and I feel very spoiled now. Um, and yeah, that's kind of all I have to say, really. If you got to this point in the video, Leave me an, a butterfly emoji because both of my parents went for butterfly cards this year. I think they're really pretty and Sav's just completely shoved them out of the way. So yeah, leave me a butterfly emoji. Just let me know you got to this point in the video. Please subscribe if you would like more of this chaos and I will see you, probably with Sav, in the next one.
Thanks, everyone. Bye.